when you search the internet for Joe Paterno, you won't find images like these. Images that show a person not only dedicated to their job, but also to their community. Instead, you're more likely to find images like this. Images and headlines that show a picture of a guilty man, a man who should have done more. From 1966 to 2011, Joe Paterno was a staple on Beaver Stadium sidelines. Throughout those years, he displayed an unmatched work ethic and became the face of Penn State University. Unfortunately, his career did not end on a high note and instead shrouded in mystery. The scandal that ensued changed Penn State and college football forever. First today, I'm going to talk about the rise of Joe Paterno's career, then I'm going to talk about the scandal that ruined his image, and lastly, I'm going to talk about his career and legacy that he left behind. The rise of Joe Paterno's career lasted spanned over 60 years. He became assistant coach in 1950 and was assistant coach for 16 years before acquiring the head coaching position in 1956. He held that position for 44 seasons and amassed over 409 wins. He led Penn State to numerous championships, two in 1982 and 1986, and also had several undefeated seasons. Joe Turner was not only cared about um, athletics, but he also cared about academics. According to Bill Klein of the Morning Call, his graduation rate was 85% for his players, which is the highest in the nation. He also donated over $7 million to the university throughout his career. Him and his wife Sue um, donated to programs, scholarships, and they also funded some of the library which is now named in their honor, the Paterno Library. Unfortunately, that wasn't meant to last, because on November 4, 2011, it was, it was told that um, Jerry Sandusky, an assistant coach, was convicted of heinous crimes against the university. Unfortunately, it was even worse, because Penn State supposedly knew about these incidents and took no action. It was told that um, graduate assistant Mike McQuarrie I told Joe Paterno about these incidents on February 9, 2001, nearly 10 years before the scandal broke. Joe Paterno then told his supervisor, who in turn told his supervisor, but still no action was taken. It got so bad that the scandal actually prompted FBI Director Louis Free to do a report that came out in July 2012 that stated that Paterno and others disregarded the victims and participating in a cover-up of the situation. These have never been confirmed or denied by Penn State. As you can imagine, the NCAA took swift action after this. They released the binding consent decree imposed by National Collegiate Athletic Association and accepted by the Pennsylvania State University that sanctioned fines, had bowl bans, um, scholarship reductions, and vacated wins from 1998 to 2011, which was about 111 wins. On November 9, 2011, five days after the scandal broke, Joe Paterno announced his retirement. But unfortunately, he was fired that night, over the phone nonetheless, by Penn State officials. They also fired University President Grant Spanier. This is what it looked like in the streets after. Now that I've discussed the scandal and the effects that it took, I want to talk about the aftermath and where the Joe Paterno's legacy stands today. Unfortunately, after, only after two months after the scandal broke, Joe Paterno passed away after a fight with lung cancer. It was a really sad day for Penn State and all its fans, and over 12,000 people attended the public memorial service. According to the Washington Post, Jerry Sandusky was convicted on 45 of 48 counts, and will spend 30 to 60 years in prison. Joe Paterno's legacy still stands today, though. And recently, on January 16, 2015, the NCAA reinstated his 111 wins, making him again the winningest coach in college football history. The Paterno statue, seen here, stood outside of Viewer Stadium until the scandal broke. It was taken down and has never been heard 
or seen from again, and has not been mentioned by Penn State officials. Alumni have amassed $300,000 to build a new statue to honor Joe Paterno on campus. Joe Paterno wasn't just about the wins or the statue even. He also donated money to his players. One of his players, Pete Campbell, told a story about how Joe Paterno had anonymously donated around $50,000 to help with his son's brain cancer, something that helped save his life. Now I've talked about the rise of Joe Paterno's career, and then I've talked about the scandal that ruined it, and I've talked about the aftermath and the legacy that he left behind. In conclusion, Joe Paterno had a huge impact during his 60 plus years as head coach. Now that the path is starting to fade, college football fans recognize the difference that he made in sports. Joe Pacero will always be synonymous with Penn State University, and that we should be thankful.